everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and in today's video and in today's episode of chess review we will be reviewing a very very crazy beginner game that I have just played before filming this video and this game when I say that it was crazy trust me it was very very crazy so we will be uh, reviewing this game uh this was a five minute game of chess that i have played on chess.com against somebody random completely random but to me it is weird because this is like a third or fourth person that i see on chess.com that has a hamburger as their profile picture and i just do not know what's going on with these profile pictures as hamburgers what's happening so let's get straight into this review i i have nothing more to say so let me start my screen recording now and uh, here we go so straight up you all can see that my opponent here has accuracy of 74.4 and i have accuracy of 81 which is a little bit better than them but it's still not something that amazing you know but they are a little bit uh, lower rated than i am they are 300 uh, 395 and i'm 448 in these five minute blitz games uh, but i have managed to get from a very bad position to a much better position than my opponent you're just going to see because uh this opponent played very well in the opening much better than i did but then uh in the middle game they just completely lost it look what happened so i played with the black pieces and they played with white so they opened with e4 uh i don't know uh what was their plan of doing here uh, but e4 is a pretty solid and okay move and of course you already know that i don't know how to respond to this but to put e5 because you know i just i just mirrored my opponents pretty much so e4 e5 nothing special is happening yet and now they take out this horse uh to what is this f3 and they are now attacking my pawn so i i start doing this i take out my horse to f6 because you know i want to play the petros defense and here our coach also says that this is uh, petros defense and it immediately attacks white's unprotected uh, e4 pawn uh, the same as they're doing to me on e5 so you know we're just mirrored nothing special is happening yet and i was expecting my opponent you know to play this and to take it so that i can take out my horse here and you know continue doing my petro but they did not let me do that look what happens they play three knights game and i i just do not like that because i'm the one who who plays with the knights not my opponents you know and then i was just like okay i can still take out my horse here but i do not i clearly do not want to play four knights game so i was just like okay let's stop mirroring them let's take out our bishop and here our coach the bot says that this is actually an inaccuracy because i should have defended this pawn somehow but I do not care about the pawn. I just want to activate my bishop and castle. No, and castle as soon as possible, you know. So that was my plan and that's why I took out this bishop. And I kind of again started to play the London system as black. Because, you know, that's just my thing. And then the next move that they do is the best move. Because now they take this pawn. And look what I do. I do the petro. Uh... <laughs> And uh, they say that I ignore the opportunity to win a pawn. They probably think that I should have done something like this. But isn't that just completely losing, losing a horse because they are protecting now this field. And that's why I decided like I won't take it. First of all, because of that horse here that is protecting this field. Second of all, because um, I don't want any troubles uh, in this type of position. So I decided to take out my horse and trade it. But look, my opponent uh, was not really keen on trading uh, pieces here and they push f4 and they say that this is just not the right idea and I did not even notice but they pushed an f pawn and that is something that you should definitely not do in chess. That's something that I have learned from multiple sources. So after they do this, you know, uh, they're just weakening uh, their king a lot and they still cannot castle. So I don't know what was the idea here, probably just like to defend this so that I can't take. But of course I took it because I want to trade. And they say that I'm losing material this way because I permitted them to kick my knight, which is like, oh, maybe... I don't know what's what's kicking the knight here i just wanted to trade and of course we traded and they say that this is the best move because 
they traded but look they of course have now two pawns but they're one uh, behind each other uh, or one in front of each other however you want to say it and that's just not the position that you want to have uh, so I jump over here I know this is my mistake look at this I probably should have I don't know what I should have done this is kicking my knight yeah yeah because when they take then they kick this knight and they kicked it and I kicked it myself completely voluntarily here to to g4 I don't know why I just did not notice that the queen was staring here uh, and I just literally gave my opponent completely free completely free knight can you believe this I mean I am a 400 500 600 rated person I don't know what is my true rating yet but you know I'm complete beginner so I, I do not pay attention to those kinds of details most of the time and here they took of course and when I saw that I was just like, oh, I gasped you know I was just like oh my god and here the coach says that this is excellent because they won a free knight and that is my own fault I'm not saying anything my opponent played very well in the opening see they're winning completely plus 5.01 um, they took a free horse and now it's just like oh my god now they're plus four I am losing material I have to think of a strategy that will make me win material and that will make me get in a better position and look what I do. This was a complete gamble. I'm not saying that you should do this. I just gambled and I won because I'm, I'm a person who has a, very, a lot of luck in their life. Look what I do. I do d6. And they, they say, oops, this is a mistake because you gave up a pawn. Because, you know, they just take this. But no, 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 no. I did not give up a pawn. I opened up my bishop that does not stare like that, but like this. And this was a complete gamble because I was just like, I lost the horse. I have to immediately think of a strategy that's going to help me to win material and to actually be in a winning position. So I opened up my bishop thinking like, okay, this person is 400 rated. Are they truly going to notice this bishop that hasn't moved since the beginning of the, the game uh, that they're going to uh, move their queen and save it? And I was praying to the universe like, please, do not let my opponent see this and uh, and make them take my pawn. And that's, that they did not even take the pawn. They put their horse here. What's this horse doing? What? What? It's giving up a free queen. That's exactly what it's doing. It's giving up a free queen. And of course it took it because that was my plan from the beginning. And see, from that point, black is completely winning. And who is black? I am. I'm the one with the black pieces. Mm. Oh my god. Uh, so this is a great move because I won a free queen and I won it by doing this completely random strategy. And they say that this is a mistake, but then when I take the queen, it's suddenly a great move. So bot, you have to make up your mind, definitely. But of course, I took a queen. And here, look what they do next. My opponent plays bishop to b5, um, giving me a check. And this is actually a very good move because here... Uh, I think that, I mean, I could have mowed my king, for example, but then I can't castle, and I have a very open castling opportunity here, so instead of mowing my, mowing my king, I decided, like, I'm going to stop this check somehow else, and I put push a pawn here, and they actually say that this is the c6 move is uh, the best move, because um, I, I have kind of forked them, but while I was playing, I, I looked at this, and I realized, like, I can't really, I mean, I first have to castle, oh my god, I first have to castle or they have to move their bishop somewhere like this, because if they move their bishop like this, I can't really take the horse, because I have pinned myself. So, you know, it is a best move, but I don't know, it's a, a self, a, like, willing full pin, but I had nothing better to do here, so that's why it's the best, and I have also kind of forked them, so they do not move, they just they leave this fork like this and they play c3 they say that this is just fine but then i castle and then they do this they they do the best move because uh they probably were preparing this so that this pawn is defended so that i can't take it so that they can attack my bishop so if i take their bishop we are trading but bro you are you lost your queen already, so I am I am completely fine with trading pieces. You're the one that shouldn't be. 
but fine this person wanted to trade bishop so i said fine deal you know and then i took this pawn on the left instead of this one on the right uh, they say that this is an excellent move because i want a free pawn and i don't know i i mean i could have taken this one as well but then they can just i don't know go here or something and i don't want that and plus this is a center so i'm fighting for the center instead of the side of the board so that's why i decided to go on the left and we are now completely chilling i'm plus six guys i'm winning by 7.8 just because I, I gambled and I took their queen because they did not notice. So if you are in a lower rating like I am, just gamble sometimes. Your opponents probably won't see this. So now they play, play knight to e3, attacking this poor bishop here. So I just decided to take him back here. And they said this is actually the best move um, because I got out of trouble, but it's still staring at the same field even further, actually. So, you know, my bishop is safe and sound here, and he is just completely chilling. Next, my opponent castles. They say that this is the best move. Um, so, they castled on king side, nothing special is happening yet. Uh, I played here h4, uh, h5, sorry, uh, because I'm black. I played h5 uh, to open up uh, the space for my king in, in case of something like in case of some troubles or something uh, oh my god I, I don't know how to say this in English my brain blocked one second in case if something bad happens to me it's just so simple how do I forget about this I don't know I'm bilingual and it, it's a problem so uh, I just opened this up I could have gone h6 uh, but I decided to go h5 for no reason. I don't know. It just I just felt like it and They say that this is not the best move, but it's not bad either So it's not hurting me anyhow, and it's just completely okay Next move my opponent plays b4. This is again another good move because now look at this These three pawns are literally holding their hands together and being like we are going on a walk and one of us is becoming a queen and I'm just like okay fine uh, I take this <laughs> I developed my queen I, I did not take anything uh, sorry I just put my queen here to be a menace uh, because look at this she is very close to oh my god she is very close to the king here and also I'm uh, uh, doing this I'm, if I take this then I'm attacking the rook uh, which was my plan uh, here I I'm kind of attacking this if they move their bishop, but I can't take this yet because this bishop is staring at this field like this, so I can't really take it. But I still uh, decided to go there because, I don't know, it's just developing a queen and it's just um, really menacing to see a queen, uh, opponent's queen, uh, you know, standing uh, very close to your king. Next thing they do is this, um, c4, they say that this is a fair move, I just took this, they said now that this is excellent all of a sudden, because they took this, but now they can literally start pushing their pawns and try to promote for a queen. So next they do this, this is the best move because they attacked my queen, can't really take this because of a horse, so I decided like, okay, so now I'm going to take your other pawn, because I just want this queen this queen is hungry and i want her to eat very well and to be uh, safe and sound and to uh, be full you know and uh she is still protecting this pawn so this knight can't really take it protecting this as well and i'm just chilling here you know next they start to push their pawns here as i said that that was their plan and that's what they did and then i push here they said that i had a better option but this is not bad so maybe we can retry this uh, maybe this is a better option Let's see. Oh, yeah, they said this is excellent So I should have played h6 instead of that. I have played uh, b6 uh, But it is okay uh, because they did not take it. They passed me. This is a passed pawn because now they can uh, literally go here and try to promote but look I have two two rooks I have a bishop that's staring here so they can't really do it and this pawn is not no longer holding hands with that pawn because my pawn is telling them like no you won't uh, so after that I played this um, they said this is excellent because I developed my rook and also I'm not letting them to come here with their pawn 
And next they do this, they put their rook to d6. I don't know why. I truly do not know why. And what was the deal here? I mean, they were trying to become a menace like my queen as well, probably. Uh, but like, I... Oh my god, no! What happened? What happened? I want to go to review. Okay, fine. Okay, we are good. We are chilling. Okay, so uh, they went here. I don't know. I can't really take this with my rook because of this pawn. Uh, they can't really take this because of this pawn. I can't take this with my queen as well. So I don't know what was the move here. They probably just wanted to develop the rook and that is it. And then I do the best move. Uh, I force them to trade rooks. But my opponent said no. My opponent said, I won't go here and trade rooks with you because I don't know why. I, sh I truly do not know why because I, maybe I'm in the wrong, but if they took here instead of putting that bishop that I take here and then they can do this and then I have to maybe move and then maybe they could have promoted this way, but instead they decided to develop their bishop to a3. But do you remember? Like a couple of moves ago, when I said I can't really take this horse because this annoying bishop that hasn't even developed is staring at this horse and protecting it. Well, after they moved this, I immediately saw that and I was just like, your horse is now mine and it's gone. And I did not even notice this, but this is actually, this is completely the best move because I won a free knight. I gave them a check and now I'm winning also a free bishop because they have to move here. Um, yeah, they have to move here or here, uh, but uh, this bishop is completely mine because it's not defended anyhow and I'm also uh, attacking this rook. So I kind of forked them once again and they moved here, which is the best. Uh, and here I, of course, do the best move, taking the free bishop as well. So I took a free knight and I took a free bishop and I checked them and I made them go here in this corner. Look what happens next. Now they accept the trade. Now, now they accept it. And I'm just like, fine, of course, you know, I'm chilling, trade the rooks, I do not care. And, <laughs> and that's the best move, of course. And now they are like, I'm going to kick your rook and I'm going to become a queen. And I'm just like, no, you won't. You won't. Why are you trying to become a queen? You are just a pawn and you will always be just a pawn in this game at least. And now they do this. Rook to d1. I take the pawn. This is the best move because it, first of all, it's a free pawn. Second of all, I can't really go here then or I mean, still can. not But you know, uh, I just wanted to get rid of this in case if I like move that they can't promote. So I was just like, okay, now I'm chilling, completely chilling. Because I was chilling before, but it was just like 90% chilling, now I'm 100% chilling. And uh, next uh, thing that they do is this, they give me a check, but luckily I have put uh, H, um, H5 here. So my king can just freely go here, which is exactly what I did. Thank God that I, I thought in, in advance and I made my king some, uh, gave my king some room to breathe even before the threats came. And now they push a pawn here because look at this. Uh, here it says that I have mate in seven, but isn't this a checkmate? Queen here. Oh, but they can now, they can then do this and then I take and then it's a checkmate. But they can then... Is that the check? Wait, wait. can we like try these uh, moves? Wait. Okay, so after... Uh, but they did this. Uh, so... Oh, it's not really mate. Okay, because I had to move and then they had a move. But if they, for example, did something else, like, I don't know, going here, then I can literally go here and mate them. I think that's the case. I don't know, but if you know, please let me know in the comments down below. But okay, that did not happen, sadly. My opponent saw that I can very quickly mate them. So they decided to push h3, which is the best move, of course, uh, because now their king also has a little bit room to breathe. And that is fine. And now I did this. Uh, I, I did not take anything, but I just decided to like, okay, I'm going to attack this. I'm going to move my rook a little bit closer to their territory, just, you know, 
uh, to make them feel very uncomfortable and very unsafe. Next they do this, which is an excellent move here, our boss says, this is a very solid choice, but I just go here, I do not care if you take my pawn here, I completely do not care. Uh, so I took a pawn, other pawn with my queen, giving them a check, they move here, which is forced because they have nowhere else to go. This, uh, this uh, is the only move that they had here with their king, and then I took another pawn, and then uh, I gave them another check, they move here, and here it says that I have mate in four, uh, I go here, this is the best move, another check, because even when I don't know what's the mate, I just try to check them as much as I can, and then I accidentally find the mate, so <laughs> that's pretty much how I'm thinking in chess, in these lower ratings, I, I will advance with time, but like, it takes a lot of time to do it. So now they go here to g1, which is the best move. And uh, my next move is this, the queen taking the pawn on a2. And they say that this is good, uh, but I have a forced checkmate after this move, even though they say that there was a faster way to mate this person. But I just do not know what was the faster way. Uh, so next thing they do, they do this. And they say that this is one of the best moves that they could have played. But I just go here, which is truly the best move, because uh, it's literally mate in one. I, I don't know why they did not go here, uh, but it would just take their, their rook for free. I don't know, I don't know what they should have done here. They literally have one pawn and a rook, while I have millions of pawns, bishop, rook, queen, they really can't win this, right? And then, of course, I mated them and that's it that's what happened in this game it's crazy and look at this they're estimating my opponent's rating to 550 which is a bit bigger than they their true rating right now and they're estimating mine to 800 which is pretty pretty well and uh, they were very good uh, in the opening I was I was questionable that's what they say here uh, but in the middle game I had a very good um, or is this a sign for a great? I think that's great middle game. And then I mated them and that's how I won. Uh, I really had a lot of fun, but this, uh, like the beginning here was just not the best for me, honestly. First off, I played with the black pieces and you know that I'm not the, the best player when it comes to black pieces. See, a questionable move. Uh, then they do this. They were just like doing the best moves until until they blundered i mean here i blundered the horse for real and then here they blundered the queen for real and that's when i started winning and that's uh like from that move on i just i was just completely winning and i mated them and it felt very very good to to mate this person uh, not just them but like everyone that you play against it just feels very good to find a mate and to win especially when you're struggling in the beginning and then you manage to mate your opponent it just feels very amazing and this is the mate that um, I did once again you can see this and my advice to this person is just please change your profile picture because what's happening with these people I have played against so many opponents who have hamburgers as their profile picture on chess.com what's happening why hamburger what's happening why I'm just questioning why <laughs> But yeah, I'm plus 18 here. I'm plus 18. I can't believe this. This was very wild. So let's go back to full screen now. And what's up? Hello, how are you? Welcome to full screen, guys. Um, this was today's game. Uh, hopefully you have liked it. I have literally played it five minutes before I decided to film a video. And I was just like, okay, today we need a chess review episode. Let's play a game of chess. I won and I was just like, let's go, let's film a video. So this was pretty easy and uh, it was pretty fun as well. So thank you everyone for watching. Uh, if you know where I maybe made a mistake in the opening especially, please let me know in the comments down below. Uh, and this was, this was just extremely fun. So if you like this game and if you like this video, uh, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Come on guys, what's happening? I see that you're watching, I see that you're having fun. So why not just click the button, it costs literally nothing and um, it helps a lot and motivates me a lot to continue doing this work. 
So um, I also wanted to say admionchess.com, my name is Tapa Sepeti, we can play chess together and you can end up in the video as well if you want to play chess for chess, uh, chess with subs episodes. Um, you can follow me on Instagram as well, my name is also Tapa Sepeti there and if you want to support my work, if you want to donate to this channel in, and if you want to see this channel grow, then you can uh, support me on Patreon if you can and if you want to, of course, I will be linking it in the description down below so you can check it out, maybe you will find something for yourself there and if you can and if you want to subscribe and donate to this channel to see it grow and advance and to see uh, your favorite beginner chess player on YouTube uh, grow as well and um, make make my videos just better you know because here I mean I really love I really really love doing this I cannot express enough how much I love doing this so you know I just I mean it feels amazing to be able to do this and if you can help and if you want to support uh, me do this then you know go for it I will be very very grateful <laughs> So that's pretty much it uh, for this game and for this video everyone. Thank you for watching once again. Uh, have a nice day. Good luck with your games. Uh, do not resign even if you make a mistake. Sometimes you have to gamble as you have seen here in my, in my game and in my case. But it's okay. Gamble. You can maybe win as I did. Maybe you won't win. Then you will start another game and then you will win. So just do not resign, keep on playing and everything will be fine. Most importantly, have fun. That is the most important rule, not just in chess, but in life in general. So just try to have as much fun as possible and everything will turn out great for you. And that is it. Once again, have a nice day. Thank you for watching. Hvala. And I will see you.